you all come and hey isn't what I'm doing oh, shooting off my mouth I'm shooting off my mouth isn't that a whole hell of a lot better than what the Columbine shooters did instead of shooting off their mouth on YouTube videos and pissing people off with their words they went and got goddamn guns and shot up people now wouldn't this world be a much happier place much happier America if the Columbine shooters instead of shooting off a goddamn motherfucking pair of motherfucking shitting ass guns and killing people would have shot off their fucking mouths instead bullets and grenades can lay me dead in my grave but words <laughs> they can do much worse the pit is mightier than the sword you get the fucking picture we'll get back god damn it You said you wouldn't steal from anybody else because you wouldn't want anybody else stealing from you. That's a good logic. But hey, it is easy to keep me content when you are not having to live from paycheck to paycheck. When you got a nice nest egg, when you got money left over. When, not only that, when you do what you love to do, unfettered, without your head, filling up with so much pressure, you feel like you are, a man does, right before he wants to pass out without actually passing out, you constantly are, are afraid of when the next stroke will hit, it will be what's worse this time, will it make me unable to walk? Look, you, you can give you can give out love to other people because you've got love from all your fans, your YouTube fans. I have got virtually no YouTube fans because I don't look good enough. People have given me nothing. So how in the hell am I supposed to give out what I ain't got? You can't give out what you ain't got. You can't love others if you love yourself. And I hate myself right now. You can't give out any goodies if you ain't got no goodies to give out. I ain't got it. So, you did it right. I will not hesitate to steal from somebody who is indifferent to me or hate me. I won't steal from a friend or somebody who loves me. I, I, I do have some morals, but I will not hesitate to steal from somebody who has been indifferent to me. I hate I, I'd better steal from someone who is indifferent from me than someone who hates me. Indifference is me. You are either for me or against me. You either love me or you hate me. I will not let you be indifferent to me. I will not let you. Yes, I think I'm so special because why? Because I'm me, myself, and I. That's why. And that's good. It's still good. And that's good enough for me. You get the picture. Look, you say I'll go to prison if I steal. You child. Look at John Gotti. Look at Pablo Escobar. They did it. Stole, killed, got away with it. Time after time after time after time. Again, their problem was they didn't know when to quit. They kept on doing that. Finally, a bit of a mess. Me, if I do it just long enough to get just what I need for my stem cells, maybe it's for my cosmetic surgery, and they quit. Cold turkey. I can do like John Gotti and Pablo Escobar and get away with it. And I hear you moaning and grabbing. What about the innocent people you hurt? Hey, right. until I got some duty to give out, I can only do one thing: take it. And once I have my satisfaction, once I've had my time to shine in the sun, I will start giving out to other people. Start wanting to lift other people up to where I am, to a place of sublime happiness in the sunlight, or at least the happiness. My three heroes are Pablo Escobar, John Gotti, and Aaron Brockovich is portrayed by Julia Roberts in the movie Aaron Brockovich. Aaron Brockovich was a cuss, ornery cuss. She would push people around. But when she got a job with the, that lawyer and they won that multi-million dollar case, she was seen as a hero. People started to respect her. She changed her too. She started to care about other people. Because she had some good to give out. Same thing with 
Look, don't you dare expect me to be a retard, second class citizen, doing my best to further the society and make this world a better place. And this world does not care being about making my life a better life. I want to be a rapper. I want to be a model. I want to be getting cosmic surgery. I want to be, be, I got a message, I'm dying to tell the world, nobody's listening, until I get what I want, it's time to start taking it, I didn't pay a goddamn, I didn't pay a goddamn thing for this cup of coffee, I got it free, not just today, but yesterday, the day before that, the day before that, in the bar, for how long, God only knows, oh wait, you don't believe in God, I do. I don't think that he loved me enough. So why should I care about being right? I just ate for free in the Kinstonian for the umpteenth time for free. Every night of the week, I have a place that lets me eat out for free. That makes me feel special. But until I can get my three dreams, until I can get people to actually listen to me, to care for me, what I have to say, I declare war on the world. <laughs> until I can do like Aaron Brockovich, until my ship comes in, I don't don't expect nothing from me until my ship comes in, and I've got nothing to give it to you until my ship does come in. Understand? You smug, rich atheist. Not giving five simple dollars to my GoFundMe account so I can work towards, save towards the sense of themselves so I can rap again, so I can stand a fair chance to just be a jet in the business. Nobody owes me success. That's on me. God damn it. I want at least to be able to make a good faith effort, able to succeed because, not disabled because of this stroke, which stem cells could alleviate another event so I can rap again like I used to. You know, feel free to give this video to the FBI. The FBI has done investigating my videos. I need the views. I need the traffic to my. And I'm willing to spend a little time in prison. You're able to bait me famous on YouTube. But, Lee Lemon, I did this. Could you be. Could you be wide enough to at least do a video about me on your YouTube channel? Maybe featuring this or a few of my videos to show what a nutcase I am. If you're not going to donate five dollars to my PayPal account, not to my GoFundMe account, could you at least do me the favor of giving me a little exposure before I die, so I don't die? alone. So, so I don't die unknown. Sure, I'm going to die alone and a lonely man, but at least I want people to know that I died a lonely man. The time's running out for me. I better get the money for, the, for my stem cells before it's too late. Let me tell you something. You find out that I got you find out, I get a date, that I'm going to die on this date. You think I'm going alone? I got enemies who hate me. That I'd, I'd love to bring down to the grave with me.
see my name. That's all, all that matters. What happens to me uh, when, I, when I'm alive? When I'm dead, I don't know what you see. What you see. I don't give a fuck. You know, I'm fucking dead. I need a nap. Look, hey, some people, maybe some people are not ready for the truth that they're, uh, they're not mature enough, like you. You can be good, be good. Despite the fact that you know you died, it's over. Game over. I need my way. I need, I need my comfort, comfort blanket. If I can't have it, I have the next best thing. Be as much, be as close to God in this world before I die. So that when I die, I will say, man, this has been the best trip of my life ever. Too bad it has to end. At least I had my time of shine. Son, I can't complain that it's time to die. I had mine. That's how I know, everybody. I wish you all the best. Now that I've, now that I've had my goodies. Anything I can do to make your life better, I'm happy to help. Because I had mine first. You know what? I'm so fucking sick and tired of everywhere I try to go, of every time I try to do something, somebody's always fucking cop fucking me. So you know what I got? You know what I got to do? I gotta grab a hold of that cock and rip it off. And then I can get what I want. Look, you let somebody keep you let everywhere you turn you find yourself cock blocked. That shit gets old real fucking quick. I ain't taking this shit.